Hello everyone. This time I will have milestone eerie free podcast with Phil. And as the milestone eerie free has some internal program, one of it is used to test the profile, uh, detect the sensor correct or not, and used to demonstrate the motor movement. So I will show you how to do the detection of the pop. And this video, I will have four kinds of motor to show you. And you can see this the power function motor, NXT servo motor, the ear free medium servo motor, and also the ear free large motor. And there is nice sensor. And this is the NXT sound sensor, the ear free light and color sensor, the ear free touch sensor. And also NXT light sensor, NXT touch sensor, NXT light and color sensor, and the NXT ultrasonic sensor, and also there's a high tenet trial sensor, and also this infrared remote control is used to connect to the infrared sensor. So now. Let's start the milestone U3 break first. And then you can see the milestone brake is open, it's turned on, and let's move to the pot fill program. And at once, uh, the first one is the this one, the e the NXT sound sensor. And you can see when I am speaking, the number is moved thing lower and higher, and it is measuring my sound's invoice, the level of my sound, and almost each sensor has more than one mode to test. And the second mode, you can see the sensitive is much higher than the last one. And even I not speaking, it's moved a little bit. Okay, and then move to the next sensor. The next sensor is this one. The mouse, the mouse down ear free color and light sensor. And the first one is used to measure the lights density uh, actively and the second one is used to measure the other kind of light density and the third one is used to measure the color and light and I'm detecting the right color is so six and when I detect the black color is so seven one one and detect the orange is five and the red is also the five and let's see if I have um, blue items, so one. Mm, I mean, it's not a formal coloring test, so I'm not going to confirm the color number, which one represent which color. And then let's move to the next sensor. 
and the first sensor is this one the mouse down ear feet touch sensor when I press this it show 1 and when I release this it shows 0 1 0 and you can see the touch sensor only got one mode in the pop field program and let's continue and move to the fourth sensor and this is the IR infrared sensor and the first mode is used to detect the distance between the obstacle and the sensor and you can see the numbers move randomly is detecting their distance and the second mode is used to seek this one the infrared remote controls direction and now this remote is not going to turn on so it's so zero and I press this button you can see the number it's just right moving okay and then the third mode is the remote control and when I press this button it's so 1 and this 2 this 3 this is 4 and it's allowed two buttons combination you can see there is more than five buttons and also this is one of the combination mode and this show nine okay let's continue about the other sensor And then the next sensor is the ultrasonic sensor. The ultrasonic sensor, you can see, is also used to detect the distance. And so about. 20 cm between the obstacle and the sensor and this is also used to measure inch now it is 9 inches or 10, 14 or whatever the next one I'll change it to another sensor like this the NXT light sensor and the first mode is used to check the light intensity actively in the second is used to detect the light passively and then the third one I'll change the touch sensor to the NXT and you can see the represent symbol is different between NXT and the EU3 and the EU3 there is a symbol for NXT it show NXT only and also the same as the EU3 touch sensor press is the uh, value is 1 and release is 0 And also, it just got one mode to test. And let's keep on to change to another sensor. And then I'll check the this one. The NXT light sensor. And of course, the first one is used to check the light density.
the second one is check the light density passively. And the third one is used to detect the color. Now first the right sheet, the black items, the orange items, and the blue one, and different numbers represent different color. And the last one is this one. The Titanic Drive Sensor. This is the high tannic drive sensor and it measures a little bit different and it used to measure the movement when it's steady it's so faulty and I move you change and I keep not to move it is faulty again Okay, then that's all for the sensor test. And then let's move to the water part.